In the previous video I showed you one way in which the model helps with in design integrity. Um, that was that as we created these messages that moved um, between each of the blocks, it would only provide a short list of the available um, signals based on the interfaces of these blocks. I'd like to show you uh, another way in which the model helps with the design integrity. Uh, if I select this uh, particular signal here, this message, and in the properties box under advanced, I can assign it, assign that message so that it, it goes along a particular connector. Let's, um, and in this case, it's the connector between the emitter and the timer. I can do the same for the other synchronous message. Of course, it could be the case that when you try to associate that asynchronous message with a connector, um, no connector could be found, and that would suggest that there was a gap or an error in your model. So one of the uses of these sequence diagrams is to describe um, particular um, runs of the system, and that will help validate that the correct interfaces and the correct connectors are in at this point, you should practice using these sequence diagrams by adding further elements. So, for example, let's add a door onto this diagram. And you could add further messages describing the case where um, the door is opened and that causes the timer to stop and the timer stopping uh, then causes the microwave emitter to stop and the lamp to go off uh, and the motor to go off.